एवरी वन मई नेम इज अदिति एंड आई क्लाउड इवेंजलिस्ट एट फोट्रॉन फोट्रॉन इज द बेस्ट माइक्रोसॉफ्ट क्लाउड सोल्यूशन प्रोवाइडर वी बिलीव इन क्लाउड फर्स्ट मोबाइल फर्स्ट एंड कस्टमर फर्स्ट सो फॉर यू टू वर्क सीमलेसली एंड लेट यू बी मोर प्रोडक्टिव वी हैव अ सपोर्ट पोर्टल वेयर यू कैन रेज योर क्वेरीज रिगार्डिंग योर इशूज रिलेटेड टू ऑफिस थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव और माइक्रोसॉफ्ट प्रोडक्ट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल शो यू हाउ यू कैन रेज अ टिकट एंड ट्रैक द स्टेटस ऑफ इट विद जस्ट अ सिंगल क्लिक There are two ways through which you can raise ticket on our cloud support portal. In this video, I'll show you another way through which you can raise a ticket on our cloud support portal. So let me show how you can do this. For this, you can open your browser and go to cloud.fortron.com. Once you open it, to raise a ticket, I will simply click on this option, New Support Ticket. Now, a submit a ticket window will open. In this window, firstly, in this requested dialog box. I will give the requested email ID which means the one who will be raising the ticket have to write his or her email ID in this scenario I am the requester so I'll write my email ID here after writing the email ID now give the subject here like you can write subject of the issue for which you want to raise the ticket for reference I am facing a problem in searching an email in my inbox I will write a subject as like you can write subject of the issue for which you want to raise the ticket for now I can also mark the priority of the issue as well Like I want an email urgently and it's not searchable, so I'll mark the priority here as urgent. You can see here in the right hand side, it's showing the article that have been uploaded in the support portal according to the subject of the issue. You can easily access it from here also. After this, you can also describe your issue in detail which you are facing for the better understanding of the member who will be resolving your issues. After writing the description, you can format your text from here. You can also insert any link from this insert link option. You can also attach file with this attach option. When I click on this option, it will show me two prompts: attach a file, attach from one drive. When I click on attach a file option, it will direct me to the files which are there in my device. I don't want to upload any files, so I'll click on this cancel option. Now here comes the verification part. After writing it, I will simply click on this option submit. Now your ticket has been raised. Once your ticket will assign, you will get a confirmation mail in your inbox. So when I go to my Outlook client. You can see this email in my inbox. Now I will show you how you can drag the status of the ticket that you have raised. For this, click on the link given in the confirmation mail. You all can see it will direct me to the login page to the support portal. If you have already signed up or configured your account, you just have to give your email address and password to login into your account. So I'll give my email address here. After giving the email ID, I will give the password. And lastly, I will click on this login button. So you can see this ticket that I have raised here but suppose you are raising the ticket first time for this to the confirmation mail for this click on the link given in the confirmation mail on this page click on this option forgot your password now i will click on this option reset my password give your email id after this click on this reset my password button you can see this notification that instructions to reset your password have been mailed to you when i go to my outlook client when i check my email You can see an email will come up in your inbox related to the resetting of password. I will simply click on this link. It will redirect me to this page. If I am raising the ticket first time, I will give the password here and confirm it here. Lastly, I will click on this update and login button. You will get this notification here on the top that password successfully updated. Now, you will be able to see all your tickets by clicking on this tickets option on the top of the page. And with this You can also see the status of this ticket which is open. To track the status of the ticket I can also click on this option check ticket status. Once your account will be configured you don't have to sign up each and every time whenever you will raise a ticket. Now I will double click on this ticket. Here I can see the status as being processed. You can also see this email here that have been sent automatically. It will show the name of the person who will be working on this ticket. Here You can also reply to this ticket by writing a query in this dialog box or you can also click on this reply option so I will write a reply over here here also you can attach file and after replying to this I will simply click on this reply button you will get this notification at the top that your note has been added to your ticket with this you can also see to whom the ticket has been assigned like here this ticket has been assigned to Sandeep so it's showing me his name You can also reset the priority of this issue from here in the right panel named as ticket details. Suppose I want to update it as high. To update this, I will simply click on this update button. You can see this notification that the ticket has been updated. Other than this, 
You can also add other people to the conversation by clicking on this option add people to conversation. A new window will pop up. I want to add Anshita so I'll write her email address. So it's showing me her email id. I will select her email id from here and we'll click on this option add people. Once it's done you can see this option email successfully added to cc. These emails of the conversations will add to the person cc whom I have added. Now you can see the status of the ticket has been changed from being processed to resolved. Now when I scroll down you can see the closure mail sent by the person to whom the ticket was assigned with issue description, resolution and current status. Now I will reply to this mail. I will click on this reply option. Again you will see this notification the note has been added to your ticket. After this you can also mark this ticket as closed by clicking on this option mark ticket as closed. There is one more way of marking a ticket as closed as the person to whom the ticket has been assigned can also mark a ticket as closed. As you can see this notification on the top that the ticket has been closed by the person to whom the ticket was assigned. As here you can see the ticket has been closed by Sandeep. From here I want to reply to the email. I will write here thank you for your help. After replying here I will simply click on this reply button. Once your ticket will get closed you can also give us the feedback by rating our cloud support as not happy, satisfactory or awesome. So this is how you can raise a ticket and then track the status of the ticket as well. We hope after watching this video you will be able to consume our support portal in a more efficient way. Thank you for watching this video.